We're going to switch from cats to music this morning. My next guest, he is also loaded with talent. He has been studying viola performance for the past 12 years. He's played all over the world and has performed with some of our country's finest musicians. Now, fortunately for us, he just moved down here to the Keys. This morning, you're going to get to know him a little bit better, and you're also going to get to hear a preview of his music. Joseph, I'm so happy to have you on the show with me today. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. And what I'm really looking forward to is hearing you play later on in the show. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. Joseph, let's start by having you tell me and our viewers the difference between a violin and a viola. <laughs> That's actually a great question because a lot of the times when I tell people I play viola, they're like, oh, the one you sit down and play like this. And no, that's a cello. Um, the viola is larger than the violin, whereas the violin can body lengthen only go up to 14 inches. Mm -hmm. The viola can be anywhere from 12 to 18. It's really as long as you can sustain an instrument that large, you could play on it. And the viola is also tuned to fifth lower in pitch. Okay. Well, how did this all get started, Joseph? Well, I started in fourth grade through the school music program. Um, after a few years, got kind of good and started taking private lessons and eventually found myself playing in a couple of orchestras back in New York. And you have played all over, Joseph. I mean, you're very fortunate <laughs> for some of the experiences you have. Let's talk about some of those experiences. Well, in 2008, I traveled to Italy, brought my viola with me, and performed on some of the more well-known public venues like the Ponte Vecchio, the Spanish Steps, and the Piazza Navona, um, you know, just so I can say I did it. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I also had the wonderful opportunity to play with the South Shore Symphony, as well as the Long Island Youth Orchestra for about five years. Um, and with the Long Island Youth Orchestra, I got to perform at Carnegie Hall on three separate occasions, which was really, really cool. Um, and just through getting my name out there, playing with these uh, orchestras, one day the Nassau Pops got in touch with me, asked me to play a few concerts with them, and I did. So things were going good, and were they still are. <laughs> were you nervous at any of these performances, Joseph? You know, sometimes I get nervous, but it always, you know, it, it always goes away once I hit the stage. Mm -hmm. so. Is it hard to play the viola? It can be, especially when you're first starting out for beginners. You know, this is the orchestral string instruments are fretless instruments, which means when you start to learn in this type of instrument, you don't have anywhere to tell you where the note is. So you have to learn by like muscle memory as to where your fingers have to land in order to hit the right notes. So it, it can be difficult, yes. How many times a day do you practice? How many hours, I guess? I practice about three to four hours every day. But um, since I moved here, I haven't been practicing that much, but I, I, I still practice quite a bit, mm -hmm. you know. How do you stay motivated to keep at it every day, Joseph? Um, I just, I, I don't know. I, I'm you just do it. Yeah. You just stay motivated. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's the music that keeps you motivated, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you give us a little preview of your m music now this morning? Sure thing. I will play the um, a brief excerpt from the first movement of the Rebecca Clark Sonata, which is titled Impetuoso which is French for violent, and you'll see why. want to check out more of your music, can they find you online, Joseph? Yes, you could uh, follow me via Facebook at uh, facebook.com forward slash joeviola93. Um, uh, you could also subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is uh, youtube.com forward slash jsviola93. Okay. And um, I have an email address as well, j dot period samit, my last name, S-A-M-M-U-T, the numerals 93, at yahoo.com. All right, and all of that information is on the bottom of our screen. Now, since you moved down here to the Keys, what do you want to do down here, Joseph? Um, you know, I'm just really trying to get my name out there. Um, I'm really f available throughout all of South Florida for private events, weddings, etc. And um, in the middle to lower Keys, I'm also available for private lessons uh, for violin, viola, cello, and voice. 
I'd love to take you up on a lesson, but I don't know, <laughs> Joseph, if I have the patience to do that. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you so much for being on the Thank show and for again. sharing your music with us. Thank you. All right, I'm going to be right back after these messages, but please stay with me.